Hey guys, in this video, I will be doing a review on my Trek Marlin 7 2021. Let's start off with the pros. This is an all around amazing bike that comes with disc brakes, a nice suspension fork, and a lightweight frame. My frame has a curve as you can see here because I have a size small. This bike comes with Bontager grips, saddle, and tires. I have this uh, water bottle holder that I got with it also. Overall, this bike is really good for the trails. I really like it. I'd say it's a really good mountain bike. It has, the suspension fork is pretty good for dampening, and the tires have some pretty good grip, although I wouldn't mind upgrading them. Some cons on this bike are, probably the biggest thing would be the pedals that it comes with. These are race face Chester pedals. The pedals that it comes with are just not very good. They don't have very good grip. They get broken really easily and they're just all around pretty cruddy. Quick thing real quick, you may notice how one of my cranks is silver and the other one is black. That is because I actually broke my bike in the How to Endo video, check it out on my channel. And they did not have the same color cranks at the bike shop, so I just got silver. Another con I would say is, as good as the suspension fork is, it's actually the RockShox Judy suspension fork. As good as it is, it does not do a whole lot for someone who's really light like me. Uh, even with the preload set on all the way low, it still, it just, it takes a lot of force to compress it. One more thing to mention, I don't know if this is a con or if this is just my fault, is uh, with, in my experience, this bike is not very durable. I've broken it multiple times from simply just having it fall onto its side or something of that sort. So I've had to take this to the shop multiple times. It's just not a very durable bike, but that could just be me. Costing $850, the Trek Marlin 7 2021 comes in at 30.4 pounds with a 100 millimeter travel RockShox Judy coil spring fork and aluminum frame with internal cable routing, Bontacher XR2 comp tires, almost a complete Shimano Dior system with a Shimano Dior shifter, derailleur, and a 10 speed Shimano Dior cassette along with Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes. This bike comes ready for some shredding at the local trails. Here are some other specifications. I have a link to the bike in the description. Go check it out for more details. This bike is geared towards beginning mountain bikers. Now, if you are planning to use this more as a commuter bike to ride around the road, I would recommend the Trek Marlin 5 because it has more gear options and it is significantly cheaper. However, if you are going to try to get into mountain biking, I highly recommend this bike as a beginner. It is really good and it is great to get you into the sport. I hope that this little review helped you decide if you want to get this bike or not. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, and I'm going to do something really cool if I get there. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.